Today's video is about Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Collecting and Investing Gone Wrong. What's up guys, we're back with a very sad video. This is not the kind of video I usually want to make because usually I want to be opening stuff, I want to be happy, but I was looking at some product trying to decide what I wanted to make a video about and I looked over at one of my Ghosts from the Past box and uh, noticed that there is a little bit going on. Look at this. I have no idea what happened here. I think it may have gotten wet somehow. There's no leak in the ceiling or anything. I think maybe I walked by with like a cup of water at some point and it slung it all over it or something. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know because I looked at everything else around it and there was nothing wrong with it. So we're going to be talking a little bit about the risks of investing in or even collecting, you know, whether it's for money or if it's just for pleasure in the all sealed product. But before we actually keep going into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. These are not sealed, so you can protect these a little easier. We have an original secret rare magic cylinder. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Do you keep sealed? product how do you protect it and if you do i want to know what your method is all right let's check this thing out i am really curious like i hope the packs are fine but as you guys can see i'm just gonna like show you one more time i mean it looks disgusting in there like it, it's gross i don't i don't know what happened it goes around the side i'm knocking away my background but we got stuff there let's see if there's anything on the back back looks fine uh, that's got a little bit going on on the top. Just does not look good. So if there's like a ghost or a dark magician and it got damaged in here. I'm going to be extremely upset. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's see what the damage is. I'm guessing there is some at, to some level. At least the sealed product is now forced to be open to even try to salvage anything. Obviously, when you buy sealed product, uh, it may or may not be for opening. And a lot of people buy sealed product to keep as like an investment and stuff. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! is not the best. We've seen some videos about that recently. But this is the risk. Like if you put it into some sort of fund or something you know there's not as much risk of your money just like getting damaged you can't damage your money it can't go away but you can't really have this kind of thing happen let's see if it made it to the next level i had not noticed this till recently so i don't know if it's a new thing this thing is not want to open it's all stuck together probably because it's wet it looks like we might be okay on the packs the good side about opening this up is i am still trying to pull that dark magician again let's check the inside so as you guys can see it made it through there and came through and if this was like not a two-year-old product you know let's say this is like a really old box we're talking about pharaoh servant you know something like that like way back then it, it would be devastating i mean this would be a really expensive product but fortunately it was just ghost in the past one which is still you know a pretty awesome you know thing i wanted to keep sealed for the most part and, you know save it for future videos or just keep it sealed because it's going to be harder and harder to find but i can't anymore we got to open it up so fortunately for us it looks like we're going to inspect all these we're going to be going through i did i grabbed a couple extra packs too just so we can have a fun opening looking for that dark magician because we're continuing that search and maybe talk a little bit about the scary part about having sealed product because yeah you know you guys know i have sealed product because i need it for videos i am really far in on Yu-Gi-Oh in general you know i spend a lot of money on Yu-Gi-Oh every year because it is part of the job as well as an interest of mine obviously a very major interest so it's just kind of scary you know to have like that much invested in stuff that can get damaged or destroyed and like literally go from worth a bunch of money to worth nothing just by you know some water damage or anything like that and as we saw like i mean it didn't completely destroy it because we could have opened it up and had these and these would have been okay but in theory if i'd waited longer if it had been a little bit worse it could have been completely destroyed gone straight down to the cards so it's definitely something that you have to consider when you're buying sealed product where you're going to put it how you're going to protect it i do my best to have some protection for it but it is not that easy uh, to actually protect this kind of stuff. Legatus, that's a good card. Because one, they take up a ton of room. You know, every that one box was like, from like space to actual cost ratio, not exactly that crazy. I mean, you're spending like, what were those? Like 30 bucks originally, $30 and it takes up like a huge amount of space. So I think only people who are really interested in like cardboard really should like buy and hold on to stuff to like try and invest in it because otherwise it's simply not worth it. The reason it is worth it for people like us is because we really like the cardboard. And if we have to, you know, opening it up isn't the worst thing to ever happen to us, you know, versus someone who like, let's say invested in a bunch of ghosts from the past and it's not going up over the first couple years and they just don't care about ghosts from the past. They just did it for money. It's like, they're not going to open it up and get any enjoyment out of it. They're just going to be angry about it. You know, I don't remember there being this many like flaps in here all right there's only three packs too i kind of forgot about that three packs instead of four and goes from the past one i haven't actually opened one of these like mini boxes in a while i've had some loose packs but the mini boxes are something i've not touched in quite a while royal prison backup secretary 
We have Arm Dragon level 10. Also, let me know in the comments, did you miss Ghost from the Past 3 this year? Do you think they should bring it back? Or do you think that Ghost from the Past 1 and 2 is enough? It's an interesting question because it is an extra reprint set. I think it did take the place of something at some point, like the, the March reprint set or whatever. Evenly matched, there's a great card. We'll take that. We'll take as many of those as we can pull. But it does add another reprint slot. So a lot of times Ghost from the Past just didn't have awesome reprints, especially Ghost from the Past 1. Red Supernova Dragon, that's a good one. So it made the value inside kind of tough, but oh wait, so far I haven't seen any damage. I thought I might've saw something. These look pretty good for the most part. It looks like we got lucky enough that we can at least make a video out of this. You know, that's the plus for me. Like if you're just holding this on the side, you don't make videos. It's like, it's just a huge bummer when it happens. Oh, I know why. Cause I'm opening these the wrong way. That's why I'm confused about it. You're supposed to open them like this. I forgot. Ah, they changed that in Ghost from the Past too. Got a little confused there. All right, three packs of Dark Magician. Not pulled a Ghost out of here in a very, very long time. I do have those extra packs I'm gonna open up in just a second. Chateau, Salamangrates, Sunrise Thrasher, okay. I've had a lot of loose Ghosts from the Past for a while. We are finally getting towards the end. We have not pulled a Ghost Rare from them in a very long time, so that opened very weird. Maybe that means this is a Ghost Rare. I hope it does. Miss Valley, Baby Rock, Metaphors, Time Thief Retrograde, Sunvine, Arm Dragon level 10. Remember when Arm Dragon level 10 got like four prints in like three months? It was insane. <laughs> Such a weird card to get printed that often. Metaphors Fusion, we have the, oh, the Dragon Knight Draco Aquis. And as a Ghost Rare print, not in this set though. We have Hieratic Seal and the Vampire of Old Day. What if they made a set where like Ghost from the Past 3, it had to be a card that has had a Ghost Rare at some point, And then they add, if it was a new one that didn't have a Ghost Rare, the set would contain a Ghost Rare. That would be interesting actually. So you could get like Stardust and stuff like that but it would be a different rarity. It wouldn't be Ghost Rare. Or it could be, you know, it could overlap. I, I would say no, because you wouldn't want to have a second Ghost Rare. And then the rest would be all, uh, it probably wouldn't do well because some of those Ghost Rares are pretty bad, you know, <laughs> unless they made the new ones really good. That's possible. So it would be interesting though to consider. Time Thief. We have Photon Thrasher and Starry Night Balefire. Still searching for cards. I'm glad so far that none of the cards have been wet or damaged or anything like that. Sunvine, because obviously being wet just completely ruins a card since it is cardboard and cardboard does not hold up so well against wetness. But speaking of wetness, we want to pull the Ghost Rare. Don't know what that means, but <laughs> we're just going to try and pull a Ghost Rare. How about that? Ojama Country, Medulce. Dragoonity Remus, that's a good card. We are pulling all the decent ultra rares, but we have not pulled a ghost rare in this video, which I would love to do. All these are uh, some extras I had, so they are in, for fortunately, no risk of being damaged or anything, thankfully. I'm really scared, honestly, like to figure out what did that, because I don't want it to like damage any of my other product. Uh, and there's no, like, I gotta figure it out. I think it was, it was right by a door, like kind of in a weird spot where I keep some like random things. So I think there's a good chance that it had, came out of like a water bottle or something like that. I think that, cause it was very, you know, it was very specific spot and like there was stuff right next to it. Fog Blade's a good card uh, that didn't get wet. So I think that's probably what happened. Mind Mole and Starry Night Arrival. At one point I did spill stuff and I couldn't figure out where the water went. And that maybe this was it. Gotta be more careful. I'm using a water bottle now for the most part, but yeah, water cups can be dangerous. Oh, Elemental, elemental, emergency trant, elemental, emergency teleport. Why can't I say this? I want to say elemental over and over. Sunsea, why do I want to say elemental? Is there a flame wingman in this coming up or something? I don't know. This is insane. Emergency teleport. I want to say trans, did I say trans, oh, I can't, I say transport, say element, I can't speak. CRU, I don't know. We got Bisbee gear. Maybe, maybe the water came out of my head. My head is just eh, full of water. I don't know what's going on. There's no brain in there anymore. We have a Durandal, Evil Thorn, Resonator Call, Salamangre Fal, and Neshadal Genius. Another good card. I think it's about a dollar. A few more packs, and we have those last two mini boxes that hopefully are good to go. Will we get a ghost? We've been searching for so long. Maybe this uh, sealed investment gone wrong will turn into an opening gone right. Huh? Anybody? Anybody in? Could be fun. Could be interesting. I want it to happen. Sunvine Healer, Time Thief. We have the Sun Seed. Sun Avalon. Okay, come on. Come on. Two more packs, then two more mini boxes. So we got eight total packs left. Will any of them contain a Ghost Rare? Technically, we could have multiple. I'm just saying, two different sources. Starry Night Balefire. Okay, last source here. Or last of the first source or second, whichever one you consider it that goes from the past one. Let's go. We have Time Thief Retrograde. We have the Sun Avalon Drydus. The Obelit. 
Day. We have the Esset and the Necroz of Rebear. All right, two more of these. They're looking okay for the most part, which is very, very good sign. Let me know in the comments, is anybody, uh, do any of you guys invest in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed product? I think at the moment, it's a pretty rough investment. Um, I usually buy, obviously, some of the new set every time, but I buy a decent amount compared to most people, I think. And, oh my goodness, I opened this wrong again. And at the moment, you know, we've talked about this in multiple videos, but the stuff is just not holding up very well. So it's really sad because stuff like Pokemon is like doing so well, even with the recent sets being bad, but buying a Pokemon pack or Pokemon box, it just does so much better in the long run. And Yu-Gi-Oh is just not keeping up with that with all the reprints and everything like that. I know it's like, oh, it doesn't have to make money. Yeah, sure it doesn't, but it is nice when you can like buy something you like and then it like goes up, you know, that's pretty cool. We got our Dex Seal, it's also pretty nice. Ghost from the past one, let's go, come on. Time Thief, Time Thief, let's go. Trinome, we have Dragoonity and Dark Magician. No, Hieratic. Sky Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. One more box, uh, the sealed product investment gone wrong or whatever you want to call it it is it's still gone pretty wrong i mean we pulled a couple of decent cards but it's definitely not going to make our money back which is just the case of an opening that's just normal but we were forced into this opening thanks to the elements but that's okay i needed to make a video anyway so i'll consider it a blessing okay these are kind of bunched up it's kind of weird okay they feel fine i thought i felt a little wetness for a second i was like oh no i got a dragon let's pull a dark magician watch it's just going to be soaking wet it's like dripping we have the medulce and Cypher X, that's good. I think that's like three bucks now. So that's actually very solid. $3 card, we'll take it. Two more packs left. These just feel weird. I feel like it might have started getting to these, but it didn't quite get to, to the pack. Didn't penetrate the pack. Good to see it. Gear Town, we have the Metaphors Volflame. Come on, Ghost Rare. Let's do this, guys. We have the Hired Dragon of Tefnuit and the Starry Night Flame Out. Last pack magic, here it comes. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and hopefully no more damaged product. Hopefully it's all just normal stuff we want to open up, you know? <laughs> Last pack, here we go. Dark Magician, I believe in you. Let's do this, Ghost Rare. It's right here, that's a Dark Magician, okay? We have Hieratic Sky Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. Sunvine, he <laughs> these names are insane. Tr I, like, I'm getting choked up now, it's rough. The time the flyback, heals on route. Very nice. Orchestrated Return. That's the last card. I thought there was one more. I ruined it. I ruined it, guys. I'm sorry. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Diana, American Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moose Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.